Oh, yeah. That's some sweet stuff. <sighs> the plank leg slide. Hi, Jeremy Tall Trainer here. I just wanted to show you this exercise. So if I'm going to just talk about the the what, how, and why of the exercise. So what to do? You get down on your elbows. You could do it from your hands also. All right. You're up in that plank position. Abs are in tight. Butt's tight. Posture's all set. Head's not dropping down in there. All right. Good solid position there. All right. And then you're going to slide the leg out to the side and then bring it back in. This is not for speed. This is for control. So I'm pulling my abs in the whole time I'm doing this exercise. All right. So that's what to do. <laughs> a little bit of how to do it. Why? Why would you do it this way? You know, is when you go out to the side like that, so as you take the leg out to the side, there is a little bit of more rotation into that exercise. You're, that one hip wants to drop in, and you've got to fight to keep the abs straight. So you don't, want, you don't want to be rocking back and forth as you're doing this. You want to stay stable, and what that does is it requires more from the oblique muscles. All right, so it's, the plank is a great exercise you know, for all those muscles, but when you start moving a limb a little bit to the side, you start to get the obliques firing up a little bit more. You know, I don't know about you, but I like that idea. I like the idea of getting those obliques going. And so you can do this exercise from a chair. So if I come over here, grab this chair, I could do it from the hands and sliding out. Or I could do it from the elbows on the chair for, just to make it a little bit easier, you know, to do this exercise. All right, so abs holding in. And again, not for speed, but for control. You know, as you're doing that. Now, mistakes that happen a lot with the exercise. One is, well, I guess I'll show, I'll show a chair version, is butt is up too high. So if we were doing it here, a lot of times that doesn't work the abs as much as keeping the hips a little bit lower. As soon as I lower my hips, I go, ooh, there's more challenge. I feel the exercise come into the abdominals more. Another mistake is the head's dropping down. All right. As soon as I bring my head back, I require more from my abs that way as well. All right, so if I, when I bring the head back, it invites the abs. Better posture equals better abs. So that invites my abdominals into the exercise a bit more. All right, so you want that head posture set pretty good, hips down pretty low. And really, you don't want to be necessarily locked out with the legs. You don't want to be locked out straight because usually what that does is it causes more arching in the back. So that lower back starts to arch down. So maybe just a tiny bit of bend in the knees as you're sending that out to the side. And then the focus would be on pulling in from the front there. So that area below the belly button, you know, hip bone to hip bone, where the pelvic bones come together is like a triangle. You're pulling that in while keeping chest out, shoulders away from the ears, all that stuff. And then you add that motion in and you do an incredible job at working the core. So one of the things that I, <laughs> I, I <laughs> bums me out about the fitness industry a lot of times is like it's just a very simple look at an exercise. You know, and just, you go down there, leg out, leg out. But there can be so much more that can happen with some of the subtleties of posture, head position, shoulders, engaging the core, using the butt as you're doing the exercise. So try to tighten your glutes while you're doing it. You know, it brings in lots of different things. And that's <laughs> where I became a person, where I became fascinated with that. All right, so hopefully this gives you a really good look at that exercise. You can really nail position good, get the benefits of this strong core that improves posture, you know, and uh, it allows you to bend, move, do all the things you want to do, and uh, it helps you firm up the lower abdominals too, you know, so you get to get, get, a, get a narrower waist, you know, out of it as well. All right, if you have any questions, you can send me an email, jeremy at talltrainer.com, uh, you know, and uh, have fun, be safe, God bless.